is Daniel and today I want to take a good, quick look at the new announcement that was made. Um, it was made on the by the Flow team, but this actually works for Power Apps as well. So I thought I'll uh, um, you know, test it and demo it to you guys. So the announcement which really caught my attention, something that I've been waiting for a while, um, was actually the ability now to put the Manage Metadata as um, SharePoint list columns and then use that in Power Apps form as well. Uh, if you prefer, remember I put in a blog, a video blog, um, I think it was on November 29th, um, I specifically stated in that blog that uh, right now the manage metadata is only in the read uh, only mode, but um, it's been a month and they've already released that new feature, so kudos to the Power Apps and the Flow team for that. Um, so what I did was um, I have actually gone ahead and uh, just added that to an existing list of mine, uh, something that I've tested and shown, you guys, shown it to you guys before. Uh, but before we look at the Manage Metadata column, let's actually go and take a look at the Manage Metadata and the Term Set, uh, the Term Set Store. So um, now there's that little setting, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but in, in, Power, in, in uh, SharePoint Online, uh, the Site Settings is missing. Uh, so all you need to do now is go to uh, Site Information, and you click on the View All Site Settings. No big difference over here, it's no big deal, it's just you need to know where it is. So I go on uh, site settings, takes me straight back to my site settings over here, and I go to the term store management. Um, in my term store management, uh, what I've done is I've actually just added another uh, term set. So see over here, I can go ahead and add another new group. Uh, the group I call it as hotel. Um, in hotel, I've gone ahead and added a new term set. I just call that as pets. And in pets, I went ahead and added all these new terms. Um, so this is the term group and the term set that I created. Um, now let's go back to that list that I just showed. Um, and in the list, let me go to list settings. I've created, and, and if you guys remember in the previous blog, um, this was kind of a list to really test the full potential of Power Apps, which is why I went ahead and got as many column types as I could. Um, so that's why I did some lookup columns. I did the choice. One is just a single selection. One was a multiple selection um, and, and all of those options that I did. Um, now, the new one that I added was manage metadata. Um, in manage metadata, if I go and look at the column, you'll see that this is the exact same um, term set that I just added, the group and the term set. It's the exact same one as you can see over here. Um, so now that I have that over here, uh, let's do a quick the demo of the form itself so you can actually see that you can put in the information um, in the form and it does save to the list um, so let's take a quick demo um, for the sake of this one I went ahead and um, what I've built is actually just the Power Apps custom form over here uh, which is in the SharePoint um, uh, embedded now directly into the SharePoint so when I click on new here's the new form that opens up um, so what I'm gonna do is let me start typing in um, name let me type in the address I just customized this form uh, just a little bit so I can um, you know add, add some nice uh, bells and whistles to it uh, to make it a little bit more presentable and just the out of box and that's the beauty of the power apps over here embedded because you can do the customization um, over here so that's basically what I've done um, city and in here this is come this is a lookup column so what I done is I just start typing it in and the intelligence starts picking it up and giving me some display results so I just type in PHR and it gives me Charlotte uh, state same thing I just type in NOR North and it now gives me North Carolina the zip code I'll put that in um, single double bet again start typing it in it gives me the option this non-smoking Amount in cash is going to be zero. Um, now this is where I did a little bit of a um, condition-based uh, visible, non-visible. So if I do have a pet, then this feature opens up. It tells me to select what pet kind. So again, this uh, is from the visible and the non-visible, but I put in a condition over there. Um, so now, yes, I have a pet, and I'm going to select the pet. Let's say it's going to be dogs. Uh, okay, and notes I'll put in. Um, Possibly check in at noon. So that, and then the arrival, I'll do that as a, yeah, it's fine. Departure will be then, and now I'm going to go ahead and save it. 
And oh, there's a pop-up window, uh, a warning. Basically, it says, except for notes, all fields need to be populated. So it looks like I missed something. I'm going to close that. And yep, I did miss my last name. So let me go ahead and put that in. And now I should be able to save it. So that's pretty neat, right? In the form, I was able to go ahead and save that uh, without me filling out all the uh, the the fields over there. I wasn't able to save it. Um, so that's just a little rule that I added over there um, in, in the form itself thing for the sake of this video and demo is that now the column which is actually the metadata uh, column which is coming from the term store uh, that set that we built I'm able to call that column as a metadata column and save that in the list over here and I'm able to pull that in power apps and you know present the whole thing as one list over here so this is a huge uh, new feature available in, in, in um, both SharePoint online and its integration with power apps Huge kudos to the Power Apps team, uh, to the SharePoint Online team, uh, to integrate this together. Also to the Flow team to be able to call that in flows because this this is something that all of us have been waiting for quite some time, um, and it, it's really neat to see that the the groups hear about that. Uh, they are working on it, and as, as I showed you as an example, I just spoke about the read functionality of this available only a month ago, and now we can read and write to this. So uh, again, as a quick overview, this was the. Um, uh, the Power Apps, the custom Power Apps form that I built, um, I was able to go ahead and now call that form, uh, I mean, call that functionality, which is the Manage Metadata column in over here, and I can go ahead and save that. Um, so hopefully you guys can now start utilizing this when it's available in your tenant, and hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.